there. <laughs> Why don't you come with me? I'll show you around. Kira, look who's here. Hi, Nugget. Look how big you've gotten. And Cody, their favorite spot to look out. Okay, I'm gonna shut this door. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not gonna shut the door. <laughs> All right, you guys. Who is this? <coughs> Who is this? <laughs> Mr. DJ Crazy eating a banana on the stairs. You wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, you guys, welcome oh, to the new crib. You're back. Look who's here. <laughs> We found a mirror. That rhymes. Um, I'm still, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys can see, we have moved. We have lots of changes going on. It's been a long time since I vlogged, but this has been a highly requested video for me to get back into vlogging. You guys have said that you missed these vlogs and I did take a long time off just for my own personal growth and mental health, but we are back and we are so excited to show you this video at our new forever home. We moved Come two in, days Kira. We moved two days before Christmas and it has been a whirlwind Kira. since then. So, should we get into it? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm doing good. All right, this is the living room right off the front door. Oops, sorry Zay. Now I'm gonna close this since the dogs are away. The dogs are trying to eat Kayla the banana. Oh, okay, don't give them any food. So I hung a wreath on the other side and there's a storm door there, which I love for the dogs, but there's some beautiful stained glass in the middle of this door that I'm completely obsessed with. But this is the entryway. Um, we've got our ladder shelf here and a huge, huge window here, which I completely love. The amount of sunlight that comes in and the dogs like to perch right here on the chair and just look and bark at everything that moves. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. Bing! Mostly because we didn't get to put a Christmas tree up until the day we moved in, which was two days before Christmas. And so we really haven't gotten to enjoy the Christmas tree vibes. And I love the Christmas tree. So we're going to keep it up for a little bit longer, I think. I will take it down. I also don't know what I'm going to do in this corner yet. So that's the other reason that I'm kind of leaving it there for now. But um, yeah, here's the TV, same TV, same mantle. We still have some boxes to unpack over there. I've kind of just shoved off to the side. Um, ceiling fan with the light. This is our old couch that the dogs have almost completely destroyed. There's dog hair on it that you can't probably see in the video, but there's patches that are coming off from them ripping it and stuff. This couch, and this chair is going in the basement. I'll show you guys in a little bit. There's a kids hangout area down there. And we're gonna put this couch since it's older and I don't care if the dogs and kids destroy it down there. And we got a brand new set that's coming in a couple weeks. Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside? <sighs> You're having a Nerf war today. No, like wall. Oh, Nerf wall. Yeah, we have to get the pegs. We'll show them in a little bit. All right, let me let um, Naughty number one and Naughty number two outside. Wow, I like it. The vlog is vlogging. I know. Okay. Okay, so I guess this would be a good time to show the living room, or not the living room, the dining room area. It's all open, so. Our hutch from the old house, which fits perfectly. I have my little plant corner over here. The table, and our hutch kitchen. here. I haven't put up all of our decor because I'm trying to take my time with everything. Um, but we've got our sliding glass doors here and I love these because the shades are built into the glass and you just slide this little thing here. So cool. And so obviously you can see, I'll step out for a second. We're still chaining the dogs to go outside because we don't want them to run into the pool because they don't, say yeah. careful. I to go outside with it. Okay, step out, just step on this thing though. You don't have shoes on. Okay. And I don't want Kira to get out. Okay, so they left this grill here, which is so cool because our old grill at the old house actually broke. So this is like a beautiful brand new grill that works. So I'm really excited about that. This is the deck, which we're probably gonna have to um, 
wash and stain eventually because you can see there's I know can you put that down though <laughs> Isaiah is very excited that I'm vlogging again. So we're chaining the dogs up, like I said, because they don't know that we have an in-ground pool. Let me step off of this for a second so I can show you. This whole backyard is a giant in-ground pool. Basically, there's a slide, there's a diving board and stuff. There's this pool shed here that has all of our stuff in it. We still have furniture over here we have to move up, but they left us this furniture here on the deck. Um, and there's still like a decent sized yard. Everything is fenced in all around it. So until we can teach the dogs that there's a pool there and make sure that it's safe for them, we're gonna chain them up here. So they can pretty much only go like in this area here. You can probably see dog poop right here. <laughs> but they can't go um, past the concrete here into the pool just to keep them safe. All right, this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen literally the thing that sold me on this house was this beautiful kitchen um before we walk into the kitchen i have a pocket door how cool is that yep yeah, so you can hide we pretty much keep it open but it's still a cool feature of the house right yep yep so this is original flooring to the house, pretty much all throughout the house except for the kitchen area here and the bathroom upstairs. But these floors are like a gray wash, kind of similar to our old floors at our old house, but gray. Yeah. Love them. Yep, yeah, this is our little pantry Bed. where we've got all of our snacks. You already know that I completely organized everything. The Lazy Susan, some cereal down there. Should we show them the top ones, eh? Yep. And then up here, we've got our snack bins, um, some baking stuff, but yeah, everything fits perfectly. The Wait, kids no, can come get whatever that, they want. No, keep that open. I was about to. You want a snack? What do you want? Careful, there's a candle right there, Isaiah. Oh. Yeah. Isaiah. I want a snack. Okay. Well, no, uh, what do you want? Mm, mm, hmm. Mm. Pretzels? I want... Doritos and this. Well, there's not much left of the Doritos Dorito. and popcorn. Why don't, here, take what's left. There's crumbs. No, actually, I don't, I don't want popcorn. Yeah, okay. Popcorn it is. Here, why don't you come sit at the table and eat it? So this is a giant uh, kitchen island, basically, with an opening. You can see out into everything. We shoved our trash can under here. I love that it's open and big. Okay, I'll let him in one second. Um, candle, this is where I've been shoving paperwork and everything. We just cleaned this counter. It was full of stuff. Um, but I just like how we can just look out into everything. I was thinking about getting some skinny bar stools for when people come over. But, I don't know. I'm really trying to take my time with everything and not just get stuff that I think would go. And then you buy it and it doesn't go. So, I'm trying to take my time. But I'm in love with the island. We've got our bread. Um basket thing over here from the old house and then I hung this I found at Marshall's I think it's more for an office space but I loved it goes with the basket and we've been putting um, some produce in it so yeah I have to show you guys these appliances that came with the house so this microwave I don't know if you can tell from the video but it's gigantic it's a Samsung I don't know what kind it is that's all I know is that Samsung but it's huge, like literally the most gigantic microwave in the world. I think it's also something else. I love this because- I'm not 100% sure what else it is because there's this like bar rack in here, but it's a very powerful microwave. Hang on, um, let me let Cody in for a second, let Kira out. Mom, I was vlogging you. Yeah. All right. So we let Kira outside and Cody's in, so. Let's get back to it. All right, so as I was saying, the microwave is awesome. Totally in love with that. As well as this um, oven stove, I just completely obsessed. So all of my appliances are from Samsung. I don't know what kind they are through Samsung, but- I love them. The <laughs> I love them. Um, this is a way better stove. It's a gas, obviously, than our old one, and when you Look, there's like a little light back here, which I think is so cool, it lights up. And then I just, the inside, I put some, our cast iron and this, which doesn't fit anywhere, I'm just gonna keep it in there unless I'm baking. 
But yeah, that's that. We have some deep drawers, which I'm obsessed with. If you guys remember our old house, the drawers in the kitchen were from like the 1950s and nobody had ever fixed them. So when you pulled the drawer out, it would drop and you basically had to like put your knee under the drawer to keep it up. And these are obviously brand new drawers and I'm completely obsessed that I don't have to hold anything. They just go in and out as they want. I swear it's the little things that you appreciate. Um, this is just full of cooking stuff. And then and my extra containers I went through and these are the ones I use the most, so I keep those there. And what I love about because when it was like stuck and we had to pull it Oh in, yeah, it would get stuck. Yeah, but these are not stuck. Yeah, our old drawers were um, definitely old and needed a little love. I just had my cooking spoons over here, so I got rid of that like big jar where they would stick up. I just put them in here and I like that they're hidden. And then in this one, I've got my like sheet cooking pans and my cutting boards. And let me see. Oh, this is um, silverware. We got some new silverware actually. These are from Target and they're like the dimpled ones. And they match my knife set over here. I'll show you. But yeah, this is organized in here. The knife set, this is from the old house. This isn't new, but it's got like the dimples on it. I don't know, I kind of like that look. And then this is just cleaning supplies under here. Um, there's some dishes in the sink, obviously, but you can look out into the backyard, into the pool. This came with the house. Totally in love with this. It's magnetic, so it just clicks back in and it's really powerful. And it just looks cool. I just love this whole vibe. The backsplash, I didn't love it at first and now I'm totally in love with it. It's beautiful. You can't see it from the camera, but these are like a really pale blue and they're just beautiful. Um, we've got our cooking book. This is the um, Magnolia one from Target. Up here, we've got our cups. Yeah, we've got our cups. Nothing exciting here. I obviously, we've used like a ton of dishes and there's some in here I have to put away. So there's a little scarce in here right now. Um, this came with the house as well. This is the dishwasher. Really nice, really beautiful. Hey mom, is this the day we're working the washer and dryer? No, that's Monday, two days from now. Okay. We currently are living without a washer and dryer. <laughs> um, up here. Got our bowls, plates, and then I put the kids' stuff down more towards their level so they can reach it. And then just some, like, um, if we have parties, you know, extra dishes up there. In this cabinet over here, this is the spice cabinet. We've got all of our cooking stuff here. There's some of our meds at the very top shelf so the kids can't get them. But we've got our spices and cooking stuff. And then up here above the stove... I put extra vitamins, stuff that wouldn't fit, extra cooking stuff, and in this basket there's um, refill of spices, so basically more spices in there. Oh, Zaya wants to show you the fridge, one of the best parts. This is the freezer. Again, this is a Samsung appliance. So cool, isn't it majestic? <laughs> hey mom, we yeah. have to throw away this. Oh, is it empty? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, it's a double door. There's just, oh my God, I don't even know. I'm careful. Okay, I'll get you orange juice. Go get your blue cup over there. Okay. Bring it to me over here. Um, the freezer I'm totally obsessed with just because it's organized. Like, I've never seen a freezer like this with drawers and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm totally, completely obsessed with my refrigerator. It's one of the things that when we were walking through the house and I opened the fridge and I was like, does this come with the house? And they were like, yeah, I'm sold. It's beautiful. It's got um, a touch screen, ice and water maker. I can't talk you guys, but it's just majestic. All right, let me get Zay some orange juice here. No, no, no. Here's Zay. Two yeah, hands. Yeah. Two hands, careful. Okay, so from the kitchen, we are going into our bar area. 
Um, this is where we have shoved the dog stuff, their bowls and dishes and their food. And this is the bathroom. And this is the bathroom. And this is where our washer and dryer will go. It's getting delivered on Monday, which is two days from now, and they will go here. So we have first level washer and dryer, which is awesome. Cody is begging for some water, so we're gonna get him some. Hi, oh, Baba, you thirsty? Come on. Some water, there you go. Okay, so like I said, this is the bar area. Um, it's so long and big that we kind of split it in half. So this is the tea coffee side. I've got my coffee mugs up here that all fit and just some of my teas up here, the coffee. This drawer has more teas in it, all organized. And then underneath here is where I put some cooking books in the back there but all my water bottles because I have a ton of them. Oh, and then I've got some hanging plants here and then this is our bar side, which we're totally obsessed with. We've never had room for a bar. And when we have people over, it's nice just to be able to offer them a drink. So this thing I got, um, I think it was in December at Target in like that $5 section. Yeah, it was five bucks. I still have to fill it, but it's so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet, but I'll find something. These are little um, chocolate liqueurs, liquor things. I don't know exactly what you call them, but um, somebody gave me those for Christmas. I've got some spoons I got at Marshall's. They're just mixing spoons and some of these um, glittery gold mixing like things, I don't know. I mean, I just went to the liquor st store and spent way too much money on Bourbon, tequila, Tito's, there's some champagne and wine under here. So we are pretty much stocked. We've never been able to have this. And I also hung our beer opener here. And then oh, we've got our wines, wine glasses, champagne flutes, and whatever you call these um, short glass things here. So it's nice just to have everything separated. Everything has a spot set. No, it's going to be four to six weeks before the couch gets delivered. And then we can move it down to the playroom. Okay. okay. This house has two full bathrooms. So this is the first level bathroom. Um, let me show you guys. We have a plant wall. Oh, that's right. So, hi. The mirror here, um, I don't know, it's like LED behind this mirror. As you can see, it's like really lit up and bright. And then there's lights up here as well. And then we've got our vanity here, which I'm completely obsessed with as well. It's just beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> My strap's getting in the way. These drawers all open. This one just kind of slides down. Ooh. These drawers all open here. Zay. I'm trying to cut the dog. No, I'm showing them stuff. So, um, and then I put baskets down here with extra <gasps> toilet paper. Isaiah is going crazy. The toilet, not exciting. But then behind here is the shower so I figured this will be the shower like if the kids get out of the pool and they need turns off they can just come in here it's beautiful Amir has taken a shower in here I haven't tried the shower yet but completely obsessed with it it's just cute and I like that there is two full bathrooms in the house so that's that moving along off the kitchen this way this is our garage which I'm almost embarrassed to show you because this is basically has been our catch-all, so it's chock full of stuff right now. Their old washer and dryer won't fit in that space, so they're getting picked up. Home Depot's picking them up and installing the new ones. This is basically trash, and I don't know. Over the summer, we'll organize. Okay, and then this, oh boy, there we go. This is the kids' hangout space slash basement, so this is where I've been keeping some of the house cleaning stuff. And I come down the stairs. Yeah. And this is the kids' hangout playroom. This is our old carpet from the house, so there are stains here. I have washed this thing like a million times, and they're just like permanent stains. But that's why I put it in the kids' playroom because they can mess it up, they can do whatever they want, and I don't care. Eventually, we're gonna put um, the couch from upstairs right here. 
can mount a little TV so they can come down here. I want to put some drywall up. It's basically like a half finished basement right now. It's pretty nice. There's no spider webs. Um, it's dry down here. There's heat and air conditioning. There's this little patch of ceiling they had to do stuff to, so we do have to fix that. But yeah, we're going to make this um, Isaiah's Nerf gun wall. So we have to get some pegs from Home Depot and then we'll hang his little Nerf guns up here. He's really excited. And we have some flooring from the old house. This is just black. I don't know what you call this flooring, but we're gonna put hardwood oh, floors box. down. We have extra boxes from the old house. So we have our little projects we wanna do, but this house was definitely already move-in ready. There wasn't uh -huh. anything we had to do to Who move in. Another spider on you. Oh, is there daddy long legs? Yeah. That's okay. This stained glass came with the house. I assume it's original to the house. It looks super cool, especially this side. And then past this is just storage. Like I'm not going to go into that room because it's even worse than the... I hate this side, but I love that side. Yeah, this side's really cool. I don't know what kind of glass it is, but it's really thick and it's just really cool. So storage on that side, that door locks, so we'll keep it locked. And this is the kids' playroom, all organized from Christmas. They got hoverboards for Christmas this year. We put the dog crate down here so the dogs can come My down. Mega nerf gun. <laughs> Your mega nerf gun. Oh boy. Okay, sorry, kids are here. And they are no, no one can oh. going downstairs, which is nice so we can just send them down to the basement. I absolutely love that part about the house. Okay, so off the front door, we have this little lip, this little step, and then we have a closet, which is pretty deep. We put our shoes here. I just had the kids put their shoes there. All of our coats are hung up, and I did mount my um, vacuum here because I use it so often. I just wanted it readily available. I'm going to try to get Isaiah's bed together. Oh, nice. Yeah. I also forgot to show you guys this um, entryway table thing. This is new. This I got on Black Friday from Target.com. I forget how much it was, but it's beautiful. We put our baskets under here, so I have like some hats and gloves in this basket, and then I usually throw my purse and my keys in this one. I still have some Christmas stuff out. Yes, I know. I'm keeping it out. And then we've got our big round mirror, also from Target, and also my... Um, oil diffuser from Young Living because it looks so pretty when all the lights are off at night and it's diffusing and our candles are going. Hi, Naughty. Okay, so up the stairs, these stairs are extra wide. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but they are usually stairs are like that wide and these are extra wide. That's a box full of junk up there. More stairs to walk up. This is the upstairs. I don't know where to start, I guess. We'll follow a mirror into the master bedroom. Um, so yeah, this is the master bedroom, our bed. This is one of the many closets of the master bedroom. Right now it just has boxes in it. We have to organize. It is kind of a walk-in closet. I have so much stuff to organize in here and I just haven't gotten there yet. But this is one of the closets, really big. We've got our TV we mounted. Let me come over here. I got this rug at Marshall's, I think. And my vanity here I have to get a chair for. And then we've got a his and hers master closet. So Amir's um, stuff is in there. And my stuff's in here. I'll show you the inside. Kind of messy right now. We put our hampers in there. Clothes, which I have to go through mine because they don't all fit in there. Baskets up top. My mirror. Hi again. Oh my god, you guys, I'm out of breath. Very cute. Uh, I guess we'll go across the hall here. This is the other full bathroom. This vanity, I love the vanity, but the colors are awkward because it's brown and the rest of the house is very like white and gray. So I think I'm gonna gray wash this at some point. I mean, it's a perfect vanity, but they're, they're just like awkward colors. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet, but um, Either way, it's a functioning, beautiful vanity set, so I don't have anything to complain about other than the colors. And then this is, we got a new shower curtain here, and this is the shower, and there is a bathtub up in this for the kids, so, and there's built-in shelving here as well. 
So, oh, and these hooks were already here, which is nice because there was four of them and we can hang our stuff up there. So yeah, um, I guess we'll go this way. This house is so big. This is Isaiah's room and it's huge. It's probably the second biggest room in the house actually and I'll tell you why in a second. But it's just so huge. His bedroom was the littlest one before and now he has so much room. We got him this carpet for Christmas. We still haven't fully unpacked and like Amir said, he's putting his bed together today because we lost the bolts that put the bed together somewhere in the move and our friend Becca gave us some new bolts. So we're putting that together today. He also got, the, got this huge um, beanbag chair for Christmas, which he loves. It's Big Joe. I got it on Amazon. And he has a closet, yay! It doesn't have a door, but that's okay. All his stuff fits and his room is just big in general and I love the light up here in his windows. It's just a huge space for him. Hey, <laughs> the dogs are going crazy. This is my office. The light in here doesn't work, but I have um, I have this light. I have that light. So this is where I've been working. I still have to hang that mirror, but there's sunlight. Sorry, you guys, you can probably hear the dogs downstairs. This I got at Target, this little rug here. And yeah, it's just a really nice space to work. My coffee mug that I'm just gonna take with me. Um, yeah, and then this side, we still I have to get some baskets for under there, but um, we have our printer and our filing cabinet. Just everything office related. I still have a ton of unpacking to do. And these are blinds that they left us in the house that I've put in here. And I've hung some of them, but it took me a while to figure out how to hang them. <laughs> so I still have more of those to hang throughout the house. And so, bathroom, we did the master. This is the closet, I'll show you last. This is Amelia's room. And the reason we chose it is because of that beautiful chandelier that was already in this house. It's got like pink gems hanging from it. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's just so beautiful. It's about the same size as Isaiah's. It might be like literally a tiny bit smaller, but you can't even notice. And I was just completely obsessed with that chandelier. So this is her room. We're still figuring out what to do. She got a gamer chair for Christmas, which is underneath this blanket. We just bought her this rug off um, Amazon. Sorry. Trying to fix it. There we go. So we have some weights down right now to try to like keep it laid down from it being curled up. But I'm obsessed with her rug. Um, if I can find the one that I ordered off Target, I'll try to link it below for you guys if I remember. How to link things below, but it's just beautiful and it goes. She also got a new bed set for Christmas because she needed one. So everything in this room is just beautiful. She's got her TV hung, her mirror in the corner. Um, she got, well, what do you call it? One of these cameras, one of these like Polaroid cameras for her birthday. And so we got her some string lights where you can hang the photos up. Okay, and then this, these doors have to be fixed. This is the upstairs like uh, closet area but I organized this yesterday I got a whole bunch of these white baskets from Target I think I need a couple more but um, I don't know I just wanted everything to be nice and organized so we have extra bathroom stuff extra towels I put our extra toilet paper and paper towels up here and I'll show you the other side this door works this door comes off the hinges so there. This side, more medical, like emergency kit stuff, meds, dog stuff, baskets, um, just boxes. And then I kept this box in here. This is just full of extra throw rugs, bedding. Oh, I don't really have a space right now, so I'm probably just going to leave it in this box literally forever. But yeah, there's so much storage in here that I'm absolutely in love with it, besides the fact that my doors are a little broken, that's okay. Gosh, that was a lot of work. I literally spent all morning cleaning the house so that I could give you guys a semi put together version of our new crib, our new house. 
so excited. There's so many different levels to the house and the kids have been loving it. They have adjusted very well to their new house. And we live in a neighborhood, so it's nice. Um, I did meet my neighbor next door. He has some twin 13 year old girls, I believe. But I'm excited probably when the weather gets warmer and people start going outside again more, we can meet our neighbors and go for walks and just get to know our area again. So I'm really excited about that. Let's see, where'd he go? Oh, oh, you switching that? Right, so it was taking me forever, they um, put this, our door handle to the back door on backwards. So you pinch your finger if you try to shut it and your fingers are still around it. So I'm just trying to flip it back. I need coffee. Oh, I left my mug upstairs. I just realized I left my coffee mug upstairs. This is the part I'm not used to is like in the old house. It was just a tiny little ranch, so if you forget something, you would literally just like walk in the next room. It was two seconds away. And in this house, if something's on a different level, you've got to walk upstairs, and I don't know why that's such a big deal to me. But if you've never had stairs in your house before, you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. foam to put on top. So we have our non-dairy creamer, almond milk and oat milk, caramel macchiato creamer, Starbucks version from Target. And then I'm gonna be using our French vanilla sugar-free coffee syrup. We're gonna add those two together. We're gonna mix it up and pour it over our vanilla cinnamon coffee, yum. Are going to open this closet up. Is there a light in here? I think Amir hung this this light. Who? That's bright. Oh my god. This stuff. I think this comes off. We have. Um. I have different marbly stuff. Actually, maybe I'll go get it downstairs and lay it down over this and peel as much as this that I can off. It looks super old and it's like peeling off anyway. So yeah, maybe I will go downstairs and get that first and hang that. And then there's so much room in here for storage, like I said, but there's still, I have so many boxes. We have like our bags in there. This laundry basket is full of Amir's school stuff and more weights and workout stuff. So I just want to be able to put that all in here. So let me go get the new liner for this and I'll be right back. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end This is the finished product. It's not perfect for sure, but it's a lot better. Temporary fix, just so it looks cleaner and nicer. This is the top shelf up here. Um, yeah, so basically now I'm gonna pull these boxes out and with that basket over there, I am going to slowly move everything back in, but organized. So I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all put away. Okay, final reveal. 
ta-da it's all organized in here it's not perfect and I definitely need some more baskets um, I want to be able to get these weights off the floor so I have to find a spot for this stuff to be able to put those up there but for now I'm just gonna leave it how it is I did hang my hats over here on the wall super cute my bags are up here and there's more bags inside the bags because that's how I rock but they're all organized and clean up there I don't know what I'm going to put on this bar yet. Maybe nothing, but I do um, need more space in my closet because I've run out and I have more clothes than can fit in that closet. So I might move some of my like nicer dresses and dress up clothes in here and just kind of shove them off to the side. But this is my workout area. So the heavier weights are on the floor here. My basket full of resistance bands and things like that. My smaller weights, my, um, my God kettlebell my waist trainers my thigh master and some of the other weights and then our three workout mats there our duffel bag and there's more duffel bags inside the duffel bag and my slippers yeah. did you need something you just wanted to know where I was oh brother let's see what the girls are doing I'm gonna make a video of me cleaning her room Ooh. Oh, it looks very nice in here. Marley, did you make Amelia's bed? Yeah. What a good friend. It looks awesome. Hi, girl. Okay, you want to come eat? Can I set my food up? Can I set my food up? Sure. I'm just putting, yeah. You want to put your shirt on? Yeah. And I'll, I want to open this. Okay. All right. Update. Amelia actually went with her friends to the movies to see the new Spider-Man movie that's out. And then she is sleeping over their house instead of a sleepover happening here. So we actually just have Isaiah right now. And he was sad that he couldn't partake in the big kid sleepover. So we got him some McDonald's. I got a Mira sandwich. And I'm going to make myself um, a salad. <laughs> because I actually had McDonald's yesterday because I was on the road for a funeral. And so I didn't want to eat McDonald's twice in a row. So we're going to make ourselves one of my chopped salads. I'm coming. Okay. Cheers. Happy New Year's. Delicious. And then we'll put on our movie after. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mmm, okay. There's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside. It's fun inside. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, you guys. <laughs> We're going to end our vlog here. You will be seeing us again. I know I took a lot of time off, but we're back, right? So we hope that you loved this video, and we hope that you love our new house. And we're excited to make more vlogs. Right, Zayzay? Zay? Okay, you want to say good night to everybody? Good night. Good night. Bye. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay.
stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted